Welcome to worship at Williamsburg Baptist Church. We're so glad you're joining us for our Christmas Eve service. We have moved through a very meaningful season of Advent, a season of waiting, and the big day is finally here tonight and in the days ahead, we remember and celebrate the birth of Jesus. The birth of Christ reminds us of God's love and goodness in the world. And we know that it's the only, only the beginning of so much that will come on the other side. The children in choir have prepared a special service for us tonight. The choir will sing and the children will offer readings and they'll alternate back and forth. And children and choir members, we're so grateful for your leadership in this way. We know that in worship, we gather to offer our, our very best to God, and our choir and our children have led us so faithfully, as you're about to see. As we gather for worship, in the midst of familiar songs and scripture readings that we hear year after year, may we hear God speaking anew to us as we listen. Long ago, Mary sang, rejoicing, God has done wonders, fed the hungry, lifted the lowly, remembered those who had feared they were forgotten. Jesus, our brother and our friend, we name you the promised one, God with us. You come this holy night, and we remember you meet us every day, in each stranger and neighbor, if only we let you in. Come to the hurting places, the neglected corners, the desperate wounds of our hearts and of our world. May our wonder at your love overcome all that divides us. We, we light, light this, this candle, candle and we and pray. We pray. Be, Be born, born again, again in, in us this, this Christmas. Christmas. Make, Make us and, and all things new. Amen. Amen. In those days, Caesar declared, Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax list. The first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth and Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea.
Joseph registered with Mary because she was engaged to marry him. Mary was now pregnant. While Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have the baby. She gave birth to her first son. There was no room left in the inn, so she wrapped the baby with cloths and laid him in a box where animals were fed. Guarding the sheep at night, the Lord angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I, brought, I bring good news to you. Wonderful, joy, joyful news for everyone. 
Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a new, a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly appeared, with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God, and on earth, peace and goodwill to men. said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. Um, the man runs and saw Mary and <clears throat> Joseph and baby Jesus and in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child.
Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home glorifying and praising God for all that they heard and seen. Everything happened just as they'd been told.
We move now to a time of communion at table together. A quick word of instruction. We'd encourage you to go ahead and gather elements to celebrate communion with us now. If you can go to your pantry and grab grape juice and bread or wine and bread or whatever ordinary staples you can find, water and crackers will be just fine. Whatever you have, we want you to feel like you can participate with us as we observe the Lord's Supper. It's okay to push pause while you do so. It feels a little bit strange to celebrate communion, to remember Jesus' last supper with his disciples and his impending death in the same service that we also have celebrated his birth. We know that a lot happened in the meantime. Let me see if I can connect it this way. With the birth of Jesus, we as Christians acknowledge in that and confess in that something that we call the incarnation, this understanding that in Jesus, God has become embodied and has come in the flesh to dwell among us. At the Last Supper, Jesus chooses physical, tactile objects to represent his body and his blood to his disciples. In my body, Jesus would say, I have manifest the presence of God to you. And so in these symbols, in bread and wine, may you continue to sense my presence among you, even when I am gone. May the bread and wine remind you of my goodness and love and care and concern for you all, and the fact that God will continue to sustain you all along the way. May they remind you of the goodness and the gift that you have received from God in this incarnational moment, in God becoming flesh among us. And so on the night that Jesus gathered with his friends for one last time before he was betrayed, he took bread and he blessed it and he broke it. And he gave it to them saying, take and eat. This is my body, my flesh given for you. Take and eat. And in the same way, after dinner, he took the cup, a common cup that they would share. We can't share right now because of the pandemic. But at the time, and even now, in taking it, it represented the unity and the bonds that they had formed and that they shared through their common experience through Christ. He took the cup. Again, he blessed it and gave it to them, saying, this cup represents a new covenant and my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for you and for many. Take it and drink as often as you will in remembrance of me. Take and drink. Let us pray. God, as we re remember and celebrate your birth this evening, we know that it is but the beginning of a much longer story, one in which people encounter you time and time again, in flesh and in blood, moving in Galilee and Nazareth and Bethlehem and Judea, and eventually embodied in the lives of your followers who carry your love and message and good news throughout all the world. As we receive these elements of bread and wine tonight, God, dwell inside of us. 
God, help us to be the ones that make your love incarnate in this world and share your good news with all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are so grateful for our choir and children for leading us in worship tonight. And we're so glad that you have joined us wherever you are and whenever you are watching. It is a gift. Your presence is a gift in joining us for worship. Please receive these words of benediction. Now that we have traveled to the manger and celebrated the birth of the Christ child, May starlight continue to guide your steps as we leave this place and as we sing songs of good news to the world. May we find that our days are filled with hope and joy in the knowledge of Christ's presence among us. When we see ways in which the world does not yet fully reflect God's dream for justice and love and goodness, May we become as midwives to the coming of the Christ child in the world once again, as we strive toward a world that reflects God's love for all. And may we be the presence of Christ in our communities in this world, Emmanuel in human skin. Amen. Go in peace.
Joseph or jo try, and try not to rock while you're doing it. Joseph or Joseph. Joseph or just George with Mary because she was engaged with engaged. engaged. That's when you're planning on marrying someone. To Mary. Mary was now pregnant. Well, the time came for her to have a Oh, no. Adrian wants to go. You can. Fine. Adrian, can you sit next to Bobby? Joseph registered with Mary because she was engaged to marry him. Mary was hey, now pregnant. While well, Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for to have a baby. Will you do the first one one more time? Oh. And I'm going to give you 30 minutes on. Adrian, right. sit next I'll to Bubby, okay? I will be okay. Adrian, no. stay right next to Bubby. I'll, I'll give you an hour if y'all can get this done. Okay. But y'all got to. So, Adrian, sit next to Bubby, okay? And I'll give you some more time she on your time. She gave both to a full son. There was no room left in the end, so she wrapped the baby with cloth and laid him in a box where animals were fed. Adri, you ready to try yours? Yeah. I repeat that for me. While Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem. You say it with me. While. Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem. Oh, I messed it up. That's okay. It's no big deal. So try it. While Joseph and Mary, you repeat it after me, okay? So I'll say, what if we say it together while Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem? I don't want to do it. That's okay.